everyone welcome back to the channel I am so excited to do this as you can probably tell by the title already I got the a very Hogwarts Christmas advent calendar I got this in I bought this on Debenhams online I'll leave the link down below if it's still for sale it says on the back that it was 25 pound but I know for a fact that I bought it on the Euro site and it was not that much. So I think they're on sale. I might be wrong, but I didn't spend that much money on it. Um, they're from like the Harry Potter, you know, the Wizarding World, you know, the brand. This brand that like does the, that does all of their merch that you find in the shop. So I'm pretty sure you could buy this on other places rather than just in Debenhams. So I'm gonna open all of the doors today. I'm so excited. I got scissors. Okay. It is so nice. I love these colors. Like, I love Harry Potter so much. So here it is. It's just a Hogwarts Christmas and it's got the, the houses around the outside. It has got a door hanger on the back. A pop-out door hanger. So I'll be popping that out at the end of this. Okay, so let's begin. Where is number one? Okay, should I read the back of it first? I think I should read the back. It said on this that it contains gifts including a wand pen, pencils, notepads, gadgets, Trivia quiz, magnets, erasers, stamps, sticky notes, paper clips, and tape. So that's kind of the vibe we're going here for. Like this is going to be the hardest part is finding the doors. Can anybody see one? I wish you could like shout for me. One. Okay, here are the ones here. Oh my god, why is this so difficult? It's like a really long one in the middle. Oh my god, it's like so difficult. Oh, how cool. Oh my god, this is worth every cent already. Can you see that? This must be a wand pin. So this is what is in door number one. It is a wand pen. It's heavy. It's not like, it's actually like quite good quality. I'll put this down so you can see what number one is. We got a Harry Potter wand pen, which is very cool. A little weird, but very cool. I like that. Okay, number two. Upside down. Number two, number two. Twenty-four, two. This little square one here inside. If you are a child trying to open these, they would struggle. I'm opening these terribly, but two is looks like some kind of tape. Oh, it's so I love. Anybody who knows me knows I love stationery. This is so cool. It's like the wand or the spells and washi tape. Like very, very cool, very, very cool. Number three. Oh, number three is here. Okay, number three is an eraser and it says obliviate just a very plain rubber to the obliviate on it just a rubber useful i guess and number four is here it's like a little a bit of a longer rectangle one so number four is it looks like a stamp maybe Oh my god, you can't say that they don't package these well anyways. It is a like the glasses and the lightning scar stamp. Very cool, cool, very, very cool little stuff. Now I think we're on to number five. Number five is this one. It's kind of one number five is up here, it's kind of like a big rectangle. I am terrible at opening these. 
Okay, and it is sticky notes, is it? Oh, it's like a sticker. Oh, it's a sticker. Oh, yes, that's a condition I like. Oh, I love all, all of this is like right up my alley. It says, I would rather be at Hogwarts. Lovely little sticker there. I like that, that's cool. I'm gonna have to find somewhere cool to put it. Okay, so we're on to number, number six, number six. Is this one down here, number six? I have it opened anyways. So number six is another one, another sticker, yes. I like the stickers. I like the stickers very much. And if anyone else is interested in my, I actually have a video up of me um, unboxing the new Mina Lima Harry Potter the Philosopher's Stone book. The card will be here somewhere if you want to check that out. Because I do do videos on Harry Potter too. So this is the next one. Property of Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. They are so cool. I'm going to find somewhere like nice to put them. Okay, that was number six. So now we're doing number seven, which is this one. It's quite like a bigger one. So we've had two like stickers in a row. So this is number seven, which is another sticker. <laughs> I do love the stickers. So this is the third sticker in a row. Five, six, and seven are stickers. Hogwarts alumni, that's pretty cool. It's like a little bit different from, it's a little bit different from the other ones. That's really nice, I like that. So we're on to number eight. Number eight is this big square up in the corner. These are not easy doors to open. So don't judge my, my opening skills. So number eight is, what is that? Is this like glow in the dark or some shit? It's another sticker. There, um, glow in the dark. I don't even know if you can read that. Can you read that? You can see it, right? If I tilt it, you can see it. It's like luminous, like glasses, and then it goes exceptionally ordinary, ordinary. Luna love good on it, but like it's really hard to see. So I think that must be like glow in the dark, which is cool. I like Luna. Luna likes my favorite character. She's so look underrated. Okay, so we got up. We're down to number eight. So we're on number nine. Number nine is this one. It's like a little one in the middle. Number eight is more stickers. Okay, I'm cut up. I'm gonna be like done with stickers for a while after this. They are just two like round Hogwarts stickers. So they're pr they're pretty nice. Yeah, I, okay, like all of these last ones have been stickers. We need something else other than stickers. Okay, so we're on to number 10, which is this big square here. So hopefully this isn't stickers. Okay, so number 10 is this one. Please forgive my awful opening, but it is. Oh. Number 10 is, I didn't realize that they had like a little thing. Look at that one, it says free Dobby. If I had opened that nicer, I could have kept that. But that's this free W on the inside, and it is more stickers. More stickers. It's one of those, it's the same one as last time, one of these like glow in the dark ones, and it says free Dobby on it. It says free Dobby. Very nice, very nice. So we're on day 11, so I suppose we're not even halfway through yet, so stickers is good. Number 11 is on this top corner here. Okay, so number 11 is, ta-da, ooh. Ooh, that's very, very nice. 
think it's like it's like taped in there. Ooh. It's like sellotaped in. That was like sellotaped into the box there, but it is a nine and three quarters magnet. Cause see, look, it's magnetic. Very, very nice. I, that is very nice. I like that. Oh, that's good. I like that. I definitely think this is worth the money. So right, we got number 11 done. So we're now looking for number 12, which is one of the ones on the bottom. We haven't got to one of the bottoms yet. Okay, so number 12 is another magnet. Yes. Very, they're sellotaped in pretty well, so okay. It is another magnet that pop out of the little seal that they're in. Like that. Go this way. The, the crest for Hogwarts. Very nice. Very nice. So now we're on to number 13. Unlucky for some. 13, this big one here. It is way too difficult to do this on camera. So we got number number 13 is oh it's a little little book. What is that? Oh it's like a little a little refill pad, a little notebook. It's very very cute, very small. It just says Hogwarts on it and it's just a little book. Very very cute. At least I'm gonna have something to write with my pen. That was, what number was that? 13? Oh wait, okay, we're on 14, 14. 14 is this bottom square down here. So, number 14 is, it's too far away for me to see. Another book. We got two books. I don't think I necessarily need too many Hogwarts books, but hey ho. Imagine just sitting somewhere and being like this. Where's my pen? Imagine being like on like a bus or a train or somewhere and or a plane and just being like this. Dear diary. <laughs> like, it's a little ridiculous the diff size difference. But it's cute all the same. This one says Ministry of Magic on the front, which is nice. And again, just an empty little notebook. That was 14, so now we have 15, which is here. A little one, right here, there's a little square. Our advent calendar is always this hard to open. I didn't think they were so hard to open. Number 15 is a paper clip. It's a lightning bolt paper clip, which is actually kind of nice. Ooh, we've got two paper clips, should I say? And again, these are the hardest things to get out. Very, very nice. Two lightning bolt paper clips. Very cute. I actually like that. That's really nice. Now we're on to number 16. 16, 16. Right under my thumb, 16. Okay, so number 16 is Another stamp. I like the stamps, the stamps are here. This one is just the Hogwarts, what would you call it, the shield, the sign, the symbol. That's what that is. Very nice, I like, I like the stamps. So now number 17 is another little one. Similar shape to 15 and 16. So my apologies to anyone who this is really annoying because it's annoying me too. How bad I'm opening this. Number 17 is another stamp. I was expecting it to be a stamp because they're the same. Right, these things. I have no idea what symbol that is. I have no idea. So now we got number number 18. We're nearly at the end. It's another one of those little small ones, the same size as the stamp ones. So in number 18 is 
Another rubber. Or an eraser, as Americans call them, erasers. This one says Reducto on it. Reducto. They're just like the little sleeves on the rubbers, so I don't know why I need two of these, but I don't know. I can't remember the last time I used a pencil, but I'm gonna keep them anyway, don't worry. Number 19, number 19, number 19 is this little square one at the top here in between. Okay, so we got number 19 is this one right here. It is a stamp, another stamp. Oh yes, I like this one. It is the, the Deathly Hallows. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was like, why can't I not? Why do I not know what that was? Deathly Hallow stamp, which is very, very nice. I actually want to get that as a tattoo. I know, not a cliche, but someday. So now I want to look at how rough this looks. If this was sitting in my room and this was like this, I would be like, no, it had to go in the bin. It is a big ass advent calendar, too. Number 20 is. is. this long one. There are three long ones in the middle. The first one was a pen and it's right next to it, so maybe it's another pen. It's very long and very thin. So number 20 is this one. And it is... A pencil! Okay, that makes kind of more sense now why you're given rubbers. Because I have a pencil to, to erase. It says... Oh, that's nice. It says property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And it's like a Warner Brothers little stamp on it as well. That is actually really nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Because I I just, sometimes I wish I've just like lived in Hogwarts, like in the world. I wish I could go to school. That would be so cool. Why do we have to live in 2020? Why can't we live in Hogwarts instead? Okay, that was 20. 21 is right next to it. It's another long one. So maybe another pencil, which I wouldn't be mad about, honestly, because they are cute. Like, say, love the Hogwarts. Long into Hogwarts thing is really nice. I feel actually like that. Okay. Number 21 is this one right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to look in the viewfinder, but it is another pencil. Another pencil, yay. And it says, okay. Could have been, they could have said something better on it, but it just says the Deathly Hallows. It's like a purple and the other one was black. This one's purple. And it just says the Deathly Hallows on the end. So yeah. I'm kind of disappointed. I kind of thought they should have, they could have put something better on it than that. And it's dropped. They could have put something better than the Deathly Hallows on that. But we'll forgive them. The, do you know those little M's I saw it there? The Ministry of Magic. It stands for the Ministry of Magic. Though. Sorry, I'm like, I'm, I should be ashamed of myself that I didn't know what the Ministry of Magic symbol looked like. That's what that stamp was, the two M's. Okay. Because inside the doors it has like the little cards, which are so cute. And if I was better at opening this, I could have kept them, but regardless. So what number was that? 20. This one was 21, so we're on to 22, which is... 22, where are you? 22 is this little long one in the bottom here, which is probably another pencil. I don't know anybody who needs three pencils in their lives, but we get what we're given. When I say this is difficult to get into, I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm like, look at the mess I'm making of this. Okay, so number 22 is, if I could even open it. Another pencil. And this one says, Mischief Managed, which is a very good one. That was a good, good idea. It's another blue one that says, Mischief Managed. Got three pencils now, two erasers, and two books. So that was number 22. We're on to the last two. Number 
23 is this one. It's a big one. These are so difficult to open. So, if you pull it and it just rips everything. Number 23 is this big one that I just butchered trying to open. And it is... Some more paper. Oh, it's sticky notes. It is Ministry of Magic sticky notes. That's what the sticky notes and they're all the same. They're all just... Yeah, I like them, they're that's nice. Sticky notes are always handy. So now we made it to number 24. After all of this disaster. This disaster and trying to open all of these. I'm trying to do it quickly, but this is like ugly. 24 is this one in the bottom. It's this little square. So let us hope that the last one is, is that, you assume that the last one is the best out of the whole lot, right? Because that's the one that you're waiting for. So, the piece de resistance, the last, number 24 is, oh, it's like a little book, it's a little book. Again, it's so difficult to get out. It's a little quiz book. Is it a quiz book? What? Oh, it's a little, not a little book. It's a game. Oh. It says Hogwarts on that, just in case anybody wants to know. I thought it was a book. Like, it's like textured. And all I saw was this. Please ignore, ignore the dogs barking. It is like, it's textured. So I was like, oh, it looks like a book. But it's a quiz. What does that mean? A Harry Potter quiz? That sounds like fun. But I have no one, I have nobody to play a Harry Potter quiz with. Because A, it's for like, you're not supposed to go visit people and nobody I know likes Harry Potter. It's like a bunch of cards. Instructions. Aim of the game is to be the first to collect five cards. Before you begin, players choose which of the four houses they'll represent. If there's more than four players, house teams can be created. Shuffle the cards, place them face down in the middle of the table. Who's the youngest player takes a card from the top of the pile and asks the player to the left the question mark with their house symbol. The player has one minute to answer. Their first answer should be taken as their final answer. If they answer the question correctly, they should place the question on the card in front of them. If they answer it incorrectly, the card should be placed at the bottom of the pile. Continue around the circle until one player has collected five cards and won the game for their house. Oh my god, that's so cool. I don't have any friends to play this. <laughs> that is so cool. Shall we take one and see? Okay, so this is the first card on the pile and this is what they look like. Well, hold on, I'll show you what the instructions was. This was the instructions card. In case anybody wants to read it for themselves. And this is the first card on the list. So every card looks like this and it just has different questions. So my house is of course Gryffindor and if you're not, don't talk to me. Um, it says, which or what does Luna Lovegood wear on her head while supporting the Gryffindor Quidditch team? She wears, oh she wears like a hat, right? Because it's not like the goggles. She wears like a hat, like a hat right like it's got like all these little bits of material i don't know a hat of some sort where's the answers oh the answers the answers are underneath a lion the answer is a lion's hat yeah a lion's hat isn't that right this is so cool look how many cards there's that is a lot of questions there's four questions on every card that's a lot of questions that is so cool. I'll do another one. During Buckbeak's execution, Hagrid is visit visited in his hut by which professor? And the answer is Professor Dumbledore, obviously. That is very, very cool and unexpected. I didn't expect to get like a game in the calendar. That is really cool. This can join my, I actually have Harry Potter playing cards, so 
this can join that uh, that is so cool i actually really like that that's actually like i think this is the price of this calendar 25 pound for like all of these like the stamps and the wand pen the magnets all the stickers and this game i'm pretty sure like that is definitely worth the £25 it says on this. I don't think I spent that much, I really don't, but it's definitely worth it. So yeah, this was my Harry Potter advent calendar opening, unboxing, however when you call it. I think this video is going to go up on like the 2nd of December, so you still have time. You still have time to go and buy yourself one. I definitely recommend this one, this one's good. I, as a Harry Potter fan, this and if you know anybody who's a Harry Potter fan, I definitely recommend it. It would be a really, even if you got it and gave it to them for Christmas, it would be a really nice gift. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe because I will be for sure doing many more Harry Potter related videos. Um, all my social medias are down below and I will be definitely posting a better picture of all of what I got up there on my Instagram probably um, so I think I have to go murder my dogs who will not stop barking for no reason I'm only joking but they probably just want to say so yeah um, and I'll Merry Christmas start of December and I'll see you in the next video bye